Hi. Today we're talking about windy day science. And outside my den door, it's not very windy, but we're going to make our own wind today. And I'm going to talk about some things that you can do outside at your house when it is windy and it'll be a lot of fun. So what is the wind? How do we get wind? Where does it come from? Well, wind is actually air in motion, and it happens when the sun heats up our earth, but it doesn't heat it up all the same everywhere around the earth. It heats it up unevenly, so some places are hot on earth, especially around the equator. Some places are cold, and the sun doesn't heat um, land as hot as it does water either. So when air is heated unevenly, that's when the wind starts blowing. A hot piece of land, say there was a desert, whoops, I've got Africa upside down, <laughs> will heat hotter and the air will rise and expand and the cooler air moves in to replace that hotter air and that creates the motion of air that we see and we call wind and it can be strong as a storm or it can be just a gentle breeze or it can be from um, the air and wind can move from, in from the ocean or a lake and then back the other way at night from the land to the ocean, breezes and, and gusts, all kinds of things that we call wind. So, can we actually see the air that the wind blows? No, we can't. Air is invisible. We can't. But we can see what it does. And I have a little toy here, and you might have played with one of these before. It's a pinwheel, and all I have to do is just... And it catches the air and I can see what I'm pretending I'm the wind I can see what the wind does I was walking around outside with this 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 morning and as I went and as I walked I was moving through the air and the wind was blowing my my pinwheel wind has force because <laughs> it creates pressure on things so it can move things so we're gonna see what kind of things the wind can move. We're going to make our own wind and try. So I brought some leaves and I'm going to pull one off and I'm going to put them on my table. So I'm going to change camera and we're going to collect all the things that we're going to try to blow with maybe a fan or with us blowing air at it. We're going to pretend we are the wind. And outside you can we can do this too if on a windy day to see what will move and blow away in the wind. So I'm going to change my camera. So I'm going to pull off a leaf. There's my leaf. And I am going to put a feather down. And let's see, I have a pop can here. Oh, I have some cotton balls. Oh, I have it. A block. Oops. Put that so you can see it actually. Get those over there. And let's see. So we can make some predictions with it. That's what I always like to do when we're doing um, science. It's kind of part of what do you think is going to happen? And then being surprised if it does or doesn't happen. So let's make a prediction. What do you think? This is a pretty big block here. Do you think our wind will move that block? Yes or no? We'll find out. What do you think about the leaf? Well, that's pretty light. <laughs> How about a cotton ball? Oh, yeah. And what do you think about a feather? Yeah. How about this pop can? It's made out of aluminum, and it's pretty light once it's empty. There's nothing in it. I drank all the, all the Coke. Oh, I have one more thing. Some of you may have a paper cup, but I have a little plastic glass. Oops, let's put that over here. Okay, so how are we gonna make the wind? Well, there's several ways to do it. I have a straw, and I'm gonna blow air at some of these things to see if it moves. And I also have a fan over there, and I do have a hair dryer, and the hair dryer will make a concentrated stream, and so will this straw. But let's see if I have good lungs and I can blow some of these things alone around. Let's try the pop can first. Okay, I'm going to put this 
in my mouth this straw and blow a steady stream of wind at my popcorn my popcorn my pop can here we go <gasps> oh that was easy so we can see what the wind does it moves things it pushes against things okay let's try the block remember what you were what your prediction was let's try okay big lungs here <gasps> No, I can't move it. I cannot move it. So I'm going to put that in the no column. <laughs> nope, I can't move the black. Okay, so here's my little plastic cup. I'm going to see if I can blow that. <gasps> oh, I knocked it over. That's pretty good. All right. So some of my easier things here, I think we'll be able to, to move. Let's try. Oh. <gasps> Oh, there go almost all of my cotton balls. And let's do cotton ball versus leaf. Oh, oh there goes the cotton ball. Oh, there goes the leaf. There, I almost cleared the table. <laughs> so you can see that wind pushes against things and wind can move things. So it can actually do work. So I have a really cool little game that you can make. Um, you can, of course, you can go outside and test things and see what blows around. But if you wanted to turn this into a really cool game, all you need is a Ziploc bag. See my Ziploc bag? And I put two sponges in it. Like a, and I'm going to make a kind of a sponge sandwich with my straw. And I'm going to stick this straw inside and put it in between my two straws like that. See what I did? There. And now... The straws in there and I'm going to shut my Ziploc bag I'm gonna pinch it tight okay so I pinched it tight and to make this so it will stay I need a little bit of tape so I'm gonna use some masking tape and I'm gonna tape my I'm gonna tape this Ziploc bag shut because Ziploc bags actually come apart pretty easily when you when you force them when you start to force them with air. So I put a piece of tape there. See how I did that? And I put a piece of tape on the other side. And so now my Ziploc probably won't come apart. I'm gonna do a little bit more over here. All right, see how I did that? I taped it shut. So now I'm going to <laughs> take the end of the straw and blow some air inside my Ziploc bag. See how it puffed up? Oh, I got a leak. I need some more tape. It's okay. I'm gonna put some more tape on it. So you kind of want to trap that air in there and I needed a little bit more tape to get closer to the straw. So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna use this as my air shooter right there. And a cotton ball is back and you can make it into a game or a race. If you have some brothers and sisters to play with or a friend coming over, you can have your cotton ball and they can have their cotton ball and you can make this air shooter and you can see who can get their cotton ball off the table first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press. You know, I filled up my bag with some air and I'm going to press down here and shoot my cotton ball with air. Oh, whoa, that was fast. <laughs> that was faster than I thought it would go. Let's see, what else can I shoot around here? Let's do another leaf and see if I can do that. But you can make a game out of it. You could probably even put a little Hot Wheels car or a little toy and see if you could get it rolling. I don't know what ha will happen with BB-8 here, but let's see. Ah, uh, BB-8 is too heavy. So let's do a leaf and cotton balls. Let's stick to those, okay? I got to put a little more air in my air shooter. And here we go. Wow, that works really good. See, you're shooting a concentrated stream of air at something. So that would be like a gale force wind trying to move something outside. There we go. Yep, and you can puff it at your face too. Um, <laughs> you can do that. So that's pretty cool. So wind blows things around. So next, I want to have a race with a pan of water. So here's my pan of water. 
Oops, there we go. So what am I gonna put in this pan of water? Oh, I left my little boat over here on this table. <laughs> so there's just a jar lid. And I'm floating it in my pan of water. I wonder if I can take a straw and blow that around. So I've got another straw here. I already made a game with one of my straws. So now I need a new straw. I'm going to see if I can blow my boat to the edge of the pan. So here's my straw, my new straw. I'm going to see if I can make it move. <gasps> that was pretty good. Yep, that was pretty easy. That was actually pretty easy. And I thought I might try something fun, actually, too. I have... clothespin and it floats. It's a wooden clothespin that floats and so do plastic clothespins. They all float. But what I'm going to do is give it a sail. See my feather? I have a big turkey feather that I found out in my yard. And there we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe I need a small feather. What do you think? My turkey feather is too tall. Let me get my small feather that I had before. Um, because I was going to use that feather as a sail. So there we go. This might work a little better because it won't make it off balance. Oh, yeah, that's going to work. See how I did that? I clipped a little feather into the end of the clothespin, and the clothespin floats on my water, and the feather is going to be my sail. And what do sails do? Of course, they collect the wind. And the wind pushes on them, and off they go. Let's see if I got a little sailboat here. Here's my wind. Oops, <laughs> I blew it over. Well, you can play with this at home. You can see if you can get it to work. That's the fun part of doing things. I can blow it around, but I also blew it over. So you can figure out how maybe that you can do this and make it stand up and use a feather for a sail. Because it does work. There we go. I got it. <laughs> Make your own sailboat. And you can have sailboat races with your brothers and sisters and your friends. So here we go. All across the pan. And you could even, if you had a kiddie pool in your yard on a windy day, you could figure out ways to make all kinds of different boats. You could also maybe put a little Play Doh in the middle of here and make your own mast with a straw and stick a piece of paper on there and use that piece of paper for a straw. You could come up with all kinds of ways to make cool sailboats. All right, so now <laughs> we're gonna play with some more wind and I'm gonna switch cameras again. There, we're back. Okay, so I have talked about races today. I've got a good one. Whoops, I had a good one. So what I'm gonna do is do a balloon race. Can you see I have a string and it's attached to my door over at the end of the room. And I'm gonna get this great big chair out of the way so you can see better. Okay, so I have a string, and I have a straw, and I have some pieces of tape, and this string is attached to my door handle. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to hold that in a minute. I have a balloon and, and a clothespin, and you can have races with this. First, I'm going to blow up the balloon. I need my lungs today. And I blew it up nice and big. And so now, I'm going to come a little closer so you can see this. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just twist it. I'm not going to tie it. I don't want to tie it because then I won't be able to let the air out. And I have this little clothespin. I just twisted the end of that. And I'm going to stick the clothespin on it so the air won't come out. And I stuck the straw onto the string. Can you see that? I'll get it closer so you can. There. And I put some pieces of tape onto that. See how that goes? And I am going to put the tape 
onto the balloon so that that balloon now is going to run along the straw. I'll get that a little closer to you so you can see what I did. See, there's the straw and there's the tape and it's on the balloon and it's lined up with the end of the balloon. So what do you think will happen? Here we go. I'm gonna hold the balloon. I'm gonna hold the string pretty tight. And to get this balloon to race across my room, I'm gonna release the air and the air is gonna push and push that balloon all the way across. Oh, I'm coming on tape here. So one, two, three. Whoa, there it goes. <laughs> so that's a little game that you can make and have balloon races. It's pretty fun. All you need is somewhere to tie your string and then hold your hold your string pretty tight and off it goes. All right. So we've got another little experiment here to do. And I thought you'd like to see, and this you can do at home. I, I made this thing with just a yardstick, some strips of paper. And what I did was I cut some strips of paper and you can do that. All you need is a little bit of construction paper. And then I taped a crayon to this one. I taped a feather to this one. They're all the same length. I taped a clothespin to this one. I taped a Q-tip to this one. And then because I wanted to see what happened if I didn't tape anything to a, a strip of paper, I left one blank. So now I'm gonna turn on my fan and what do you think will blow in the wind? Either the wind outside or the wind in my den with a fan. What, which one do you think will blow the most? So make a prediction. Do you think it'll be the one with nothing on it? The Q-tip, <laughs> the clothespin, the feather, or the crayon? Let's try it out. I'm gonna turn on my fan over here. And off it goes, I hope. Uh-oh. Oh man, I thought it died a little while ago and it did. So I'm going to turn on a hair dryer instead. Now this is gonna make a lot of noise, so I don't think it will, I don't think it will, I'll be able to talk. So here's my hair dryer. I'm gonna turn it on and let's see which one of these will move the farthest. So I'm gonna hold it like that so you can compare and see. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk, I'm just gonna turn on the fan and then I'll turn it off when I need to talk again. Here we go, I'm gonna turn it on high. Let's try this one. Wow, <laughs> what did you notice? I noticed that when I blew my fan or my hair dryer, the one with nothing on it was the lightest and that was really flapping. And then I noticed that some of the heavier ones like the crayon and the clothespin, I could move them, but not quite as far. And the feather was almost as good at flapping as the one with nothing on it. And the Q-tip, eh. <laughs> so one more time. Okay, remember, nothing, Q-tip, <laughs> clothespin, feather, crayon. I'll do it one more time so you watch, see what happens. Here we go. So you can build yourself one of these. You don't have to have a yardstick. You can have a stick and a little tape <laughs> and just some paper and, and see what you've got. And if you don't have all of these items, you can use what you have at home. You might have something else. You might put a leaf on there where I have the feather or a cotton ball or anything like that. So there we go. Okay.
Oh, and I have one more thing over here to show you. And it's made with some very simple supplies. So you can make kind of, kind of a silly kite. I love this. You don't have to build it. All you have to do is get one from your mom when she unpacks the groceries at the grocery store. Look at that. It's a plastic bag, plastic grocery bag. And it has handles. So that's to our advantage because then all you need is a piece of string. And I'm going to hold the two handles together. See how I did that? There's the open space of the bag. And I've brought the two handles together. And I am going to tie... I, well, I almost tied it in half, but I think I want to tie the handles together with one of the ends of the yarn. So I'm going to make a knot and tie those handles together. Our bags are very light and they're going to be way cool, affected by the wind. And so I have this trail of string string or yarn or whatever, and let's see what happens when I pull it towards me. Whoa, so you can run, oh look, so you can run through the yard and let out the string a little bit and this will lift up and kind of be a cool looking kite to play with. Run around the yard and pull your kite. So, a wind kite. And I've got one more race to show you. So we're gonna change the camera one more time. And here it goes. This is a good, this is a good one when you don't have any wind, but you wanna play something really fun with your friends or your brother and sister. This is a piece of tissue paper that I got out of a package. So if you're having a birthday party, somebody probably wrapped your present in the tissue paper so you can crush it up a little bit like this and set it on the table or the sidewalk or the grass or wherever you are. And now I've got a paper plate. And the paper plate is kind of cool because it can work as a fan. I can whip it back and forth and it's going to move the air just like the breeze going through so you can see how far across your yard or down your sidewalk you can move <clears throat> that piece of tissue paper. So I have a small area. So I'm going to start right here. So just so you can see that I'm flopping this fan. And you can have a tissue paper race. Come on. Back and forth. There it goes. Oh, that was so fast. So paper is pretty light and easily moved by the wind. So here I go again, I'm moving my paper. Let's go, 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 go. So you can have a contest and see who can move their tissue paper down a, a sidewalk and get there the fastest. Okay, so back we go. All right, well, I hope you had some fun with the wind today. There's, if you go outside, you can tell when the wind is blowing. You could, if you have a pinwheel, or even if you just have a little flag, or you make a little flag, you can hold it out in the breeze. So you can't see the wind itself, but you can see what it does, and that's where the fun starts. So have some fun today with the wind, or you as the wind. <laughs> that's it. All right, well, thanks, and I hope you guys have fun out there uh, playing with the wind and doing some experiments. And uh, if you do a really cool experiment and you want to send it to us, uh, feel free to do that. We love to see those kinds of things. So today is Friday. We're doing First Step Science, and next week is a whole other week of fun. On Tuesday, we're going to be doing Get Crafty, so you can join us and create something with us together. Um, on Thursday, just like every Thursday, we are telling stories, so sometimes they're rhyming stories, sometimes they're stories about the sky and the stars, sometimes we're reading a story, and we often ask for your help coming up with what's going to happen in that story. So join us for Let's Create a Story every Thursday, 
And then a week from today, Friday, is First Step Science. We're going to be discovering more about the world around us. We're going to create some scientific tools. And we're going to do some experiments. So join us for those. Those are all at 11 o'clock, and you can join us live by going to www.greatlakeskids.org slash news dash events. All of the information is right there, and if you want to join us live, all of the uh, material lists are right there too, so you can see what you need to bring. If you want to keep programs like this on the air and keep the Children's Museum running, we appreciate any donations that you can give. To find more information on donating to the Children's Museum, just go to www.greatlakeskids.org slash donate. There's all kinds of information on there, and there's even a button to donate directly. We appreciate any help that you can give us during this time. So we hope to see you next time. Please join us live. We like to check in with you, and we like to see you. So join us, and uh, until next time, we'll say goodbye. Bye. Bye.